if you read the news, uh, you'll know that on 27 March afternoon, the UV index in Singapore hit the extreme levels. But we all panic, uh, but there's a big secret you all didn't know uh, about these extreme levels uh, if you all just read the head nice. So, so, uh, so, on 27 March afternoon, uh, during lunch hour, it wasn't just hot. Eh. It was so hot, uh, I saw a man uh, asking for ice sliced fish soup. It's inside, right? How can you say, uh, yo? Only office girls uh, can buy sliced fish soup during lunch hour, uh, not men. Uh, you men, uh, go be a man, go eat chai peng. Uh. But you get the idea, uh, it was just super hot. Just like another Wednesday la, until uh, these articles appear in my newsfeed. Wah, wah, wah. So simply put, uh, the ultraviolet index is an index uh, that you can actually see real time in the NEA website. You see, as I'm recording this, uh, I check the UV index uh, and it's at a whopping uh, zero rate. But it's early morning, uh, cause here's the thing, the index uh, depends a lot on the timing. You'll go up and down, just like your wife emotions. When it's 8 and above, uh, it's considered very high or extreme. It's actually common for it to be above 8 uh, between 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Singapore, especially when there's little crowd. This is why it's always recommended uh, to be protected against the sun during these peak hours, uh, whether you can feel the heat or not. So, what happened on 27 March uh, is that you reached a whopping 12 uh, at 12.45 p.m., which leads to the multiple news report you read, and also uh, Tan Zi Wei uh, using the excuse uh, not to go for his sales appointment because he said uh, he will melt once he left the office. But here's the thing, uh, like I said earlier, uh, it's actually common for the UV index to reach very high and extreme levels between 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on a day with little crowd cover. Yeah, I know I repeat that, uh, but if so, uh, why does it feel like it's a bit hoo ha eh? Because it was also super super hot, uh, especially in the last few days. You add two things together, uh, it's like you wake up uh, and then you see your boss message saying, see me in the office once you are in. And then your wife uh, suddenly turn to you uh, and then say, later this evening, we need to talk about something. You doom the entire day. Uh. So it's the same. Uh. Just a few days ago, uh, Chua Chu Kang hit the record temperature for 2024. Then for people not familiar with UV index, uh, it's like we have just broken yet another record with the high temperature and high UV index. But no, eh, it's actually not the first time uh, that we hit 12 uh, in the UV index. Back in 19 Feb 2021, uh, it hit a whopping 15 uh, at 1 p.m. A week before that, uh, there was another UV index uh, of 15 being recorded. In fact, that had gone viral uh, after a netizen saw the index uh, and then posted it on Reddit. Uh. Therefore, uh, like it or not, uh, 27 March 2024 uh, wasn't special. Eh. It's just that uh, it's also super hot uh, and then the UV index uh, is super high. Uh. No records uh, were broken uh, yet. Cause shockingly, uh, sometimes uh, the UV index can be high even on days that don't feel hot. Cause UV index uh, is kind of like the level of ultraviolet radiation uh, from the sun into the ground. Most of the radiation uh, is absorbed by the ozone layer, uh, a kind of invisible shield uh, that Elon must build uh, to protect human- Eh, hey, what about Sarah meh? Oh, it's some natural thingy that we all managed to save back in the past for not using certain refrigerator la. Yeah, shockingly, uh, you did. Well, that means uh, throughout my life, uh, I've saved the world uh, by using different refrigerator so the ozone layer is safe and staying home uh, to stop the spread of COVID-19. Uh. Suddenly, Suddenly, we feel so important. So important. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to know how we save the ozone layer, uh, just type Bluecast have an announcement to make soon and we'll do one uh, if we got 88 such comments. Uh. But anyways, uh, other than the ozone layer, uh, the crowds kind of brought the UV radiation too. Uh, so if there are enough crowds, uh, UV index uh, can be lower. Therefore, uh, usually, yeah. Uh, UV index and temperature usually go hand in hand, but sometimes uh, it might be hot with low UV index or cool with high UV index. The goal is always to stay protected as long as you are under the sun, uh, especially uh, between 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Also, you must watch this video uh, to know why it's getting super hot nowadays, and also subscribe uh, if you think you have become smarter. Uh.